right guys, AAB Camping. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for joining me and watching this video. I'm at a place called Hainworth. Hainworth, I think that's right. I'll put some notes up here. Hainworth Wood Wild Camping. Now, I've seen other people camp here. It's nearly wild camping place. It has got toilets. It's £5 a night, which I thought was really cheap. Um, in fact too cheap <laughs> yeah and I've seen other people camping here in summer so I've come down here and I've come down in my little van as you can see now when Greg the bloke that owns the campsite texts me he sent me a little note about where I could park and he did say you could park at the top of the hill and walk in with your bags well I've got quite a lot of heavy stuff so I didn't want to do that and then he said oh you can go I think 150 meters down the road green gate on the left and you can drive straight into site which I decided to do well I came down the main road and it was a it's a little bit snowy as you can see the ground is slightly frozen but the more and more I came down the hill I thought I ain't getting back up here today luckily this weekend it's supposed to be rain and a bit of wind or well, quite a lot of wind and quite a lot of rain I think so I thought well that'll disappear so I pulled in the gate came down the hill and it's a bog fest as you can see here that's where I drove in down there at the moment it's frozen so that's not too bad I might have to move me van round because if this stores tomorrow I won't get through this mud yeah the mud will be horrendous and then as I came over like a little I don't know what you call it like a bridge but it's not it's a road over where it must be where the walk comes down I'll put a picture of it up here in the middle of that there's a big sinkhole luckily it's not too wide so I could get over it but if you came down here at night time you'd lose a wheel down there so I've got down here and I'm sure it's a beautiful place in summer and I've seen people camp here um, the English woodsman has been here a couple of times and it looks beautiful so my idea was to come down put my day pack on go for a bit of a walk around so I could find a nice spot cook up a meal on my little burner and then once we found the campsite, um, that's where we'd set up camp. So that was going to be a bit of a separate video. But the, I've walked around here, it is so much on the slope. I can't find where the English woodsman camped, unless he camped here somewhere. Which, in summer, again, I'm sure it's a really nice place in fact I went up the woods before to try and find another spot and I found wild garlic growing already so that's a bonus for summer definitely come back here again you just drive on pay your money I won't say where but you can pay online or you can put cash somewhere so I, I'm gonna do that but the only place I can find to camp really now sorry it's getting a bit dark here let me see if I can no I can't alter that yeah the only place I can find to camp is up here beautiful place again not knocking the place in summer but in winter it's harsh you got a beautiful view out there Uh, 
and but up here it's still frozen slippy as anything but the place I found just up here is this bit of wood look at that beautiful so I've been on the website and on the website it does say that entrance is for four befores but on this text message it didn't say that I'm assuming he thought I'd read the website I hadn't my fault anyway I'm gonna camp here because you're not allowed fire pits anywhere well it looks like people have but I'm gonna to stick to the rules there's a fire pit here and I'm gonna put my tent just there with a tarp up so we can sit under that tonight and uh, cook up a beautiful meal now I've had to drive here because the kit I brought with me weighs a ton and there's a lot of it I've got some new kit to show you I've got some beautiful food to cook up it's a Friday and it's what time is it it's half past 12 so I need to set up my tent oh I've just seen the deer walk past up there I don't think you can see it you no, I won't be able to see it on this camera I've got the big camera in the van so yeah I'm here it's a Friday I'm here till Sunday so hopefully it will rain and the road I came down on just behind me hopefully all that snow's cleared I struggled to get up the hill to come down this road because it had ice all over it not been treated at all but hey oh that's why I'm camping for you so I'm gonna get set up and as I'm setting up I'll record that and then I'll bring you back once I get settled So guys, that didn't take very long. The weapon of choice today is the Vango Amiga 250. Brilliant tent. Loads of room, you can do cooking in there if it's raining. Big vestibule, absolutely brilliant. Right, go down to the van, pick up all the rest of my kit. Flipping neck. That was hard work. A lot of kit, very heavy. Didn't want to be parking 300 metres up the road and doing three or four trips backwards and forwards. Oh, didn't bring my chair. Didn't bring my chair. Back down again. See you in a minute. King Camp. Luxury chair, this. But I thought, things aren't carrying all the weight anyway, might as well bring this along. So, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch the tarp up over this. I've got new lightweight tarp, never tried it before. Uh, so I'm going to try to stretch the tarp up so I can sit outside the tent. Now let's crack on with that. Ultra lightweight. And two guidelines. So oh, it is. Weighs 64 grams. Nothing. Lots of configuration with it. Uh, and it is. Oh, it's a 3B3 tool. Still plenty of room. Let's get this set up before the rain starts. Thanks for it and all.
think it's that time guys before I set everything up everything else I think it's about time we kick back a bit oh Spice Latte Porter. Let's have a look what else we've got. Oh, chocolate fudge. That sounds better. Northern Monk chocolate fudge brownie. I think we'll be going for that. Cheers everyone. Thank you for joining me. I was a bit, oh, what can I say, disappointed when I got here, but now I'm all set up, it's brilliant that camp, cheers. Mm. How did they do it, what northern monk? Don't think I need my ice pocket. So yeah, I've got my soft boots for tonight to keep me nice and warm. I've got the All About Bushcraft jacket. I've got some wool on, thermals under this. Um, like I say, I've got my softies to go over the ear. I've got my wrap jacket in the car. And I've got my combat jacket for lighting fires later. I have got in the van a drone. The idea today was come out, go for a wander, cook off a little bit of a meal while we're looking for somewhere to camp. Come back, cook off a very nice meal and then chillax by the fire. Change your plan. I've also brought a drone with me. Now it's too windy for a drone. Too much woods. No clear spots. So what we're going to do tonight. Get set up. I'm going to get the fire on the go. Before it gets too dark. There's loads of firewood here that you're allowed to burn. Um, I've got couple of new tools for cutting firewood. I'll show you that before it goes dark. And we've got kebabs for the fire. We have, but I'm not sure if it's going to be defrosted. Oh, oh, this weighs a ton as well. Nice bit of bacon, ice, that was for this pocket but I don't think I'll need it, but I'll stick it in there anyway. There's my kebabs. I think if I leave them out now, it should be about right, good tonight. So we'll do them over the fire. I didn't bring a grill with me. Could cook them on the oven. But we'll try them over the fire. We'll try and bodge them up for that. A nice breakfast. Oh. Let's put that up there. That's for breakfast Sunday morning. Very special. Well, they're not so special, but the way I'm able to do it now is um, got some haggis for breakfast, other bits and pieces. 
I've got something very special in here. Yeah, got loads of food. That should be alright for tonight. I think we'll just have them for tonight. Maybe with some potatoes. Jesus. Over to I brought me new, quite a few new lights with me for tonight. The only problem with this, if I turn this inside out, I'd have somewhere to hang them. I mean, new lights. But, I don't want SOS, do we? Yeah, I can find somewhere to hang them. So yeah, nice and set up. Gonna finish my beer and I'll bring you back in a bit. Oh, oh it's nice and warm in here. Right, let's get this blown up. Leap on that side. Turn it round. Get my foil blanket down, which is very a car windscreen cover. Okay. Lightweight sleeping bag. Let's get that ahead. Get that all layered out and tools. And my jacket for while we're by the fire. Just so I don't burn my rab jacket. Oh, I'll leave it on my dust bag. Oh, can't forget my pillar. That's a hawk. Seen it before. Right guys, I've decided what I'm going to do tonight is I'm not going to cook over the fire. I'm not going to cook over the fire all weekend actually because I've got the good old corn heater with me. So I'm going to do my kebabs on that in here. Get me a bit of warmth in here. And because I've got this bathtub mattress mat in there. Don't really want to pull the sides up because there's a bit of a wind and that's what keeps it out. So what I'm gonna do set up my little table put it on that. That way I think tonight we'll have an early night. Uh, I might light the fire have a couple of beers by the fire. I've got three beers with me. Um, 
do the kebabs in this. Uh, in this. I've got my frying pan there. So I might have my kebabs tonight, cook them in here, warm the tent up a bit, and then get my head down. I had a long day today. And then tomorrow, we've got a treat. A real treat. You'll have to wait for that. It's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. I did try it the other day. Oh, come on. And it worked brilliantly. Especially for the new bit of kit I've got. Because what we'll do tomorrow, we'll make a day of it. There you go. Put that on top of that. We'll do our kebabs. Oh. Yep, but skillet with me as well. So yeah, I think we'll have a earliest night tonight. I need to go and drop my money off actually. So that's all set to go when we're ready. Pull out these wings. I didn't think when I brought that big naff off chair with me, it won't fit in here. Well it will, but my head would be touching the ceiling. So yeah. Is what it is. Right. What I'm gonna do now um on my camera bag I've got a money safe. In here that I always carry with me. And there should be a £20 note in here. Now it's £5 a night. I'm staying two nights. I'm going to give him 20 quid. I feel a bit guilty. Just give him a fiver. To me, that's a bit tight. Yeah, let's go to manage these woods. 10 quid a night. You can't even get a decent McDonald's for that, can you? So I'm going to go and pay this now and then I'll see you when I get back. Right then, let's get this fire going. Bit of warmth to sit next to. Cheating a little here. Brought me own these wood wall things. Just break them up. Brilliant little things for starting fires. Oh yeah. Oh. Put some kindling on that. There is wood around this campsite but in this forest but it's all damp. So just give it a helping hand. Oh, this is the life. Nice cold beer, nice cold night. I'm lovely and warm by this fire. Cheers, everyone. Right. Won't be rude to come out and not have a decent cigar. Yeah. I've got some other treats as well for tonight. 
Mm. That's nice. Oh, why? That's nice. Really nice. So, what other treats have we got? Well, I got these for Christmas. The Dead Man's Fingers. I've had them before. But with this, you get a little rip them open and see. Won't burn the plastic, obviously. So I've got Dead Man's Fingers, Mango Rum and Spice Rum. And you get a little night, nice school face shot glass with it. So I thought, before we make dinner, tea, whatever. I'd have these with my cigar. Oh, it's just cold, don't need ice. The ice is still frozen in that ice pack there. So let's pour a nice rum. Oh. Yes. Cheers everyone. Beautiful. Don't want to lift the place, do we? It's beautiful here, actually. There's a bit like that with it when I first got here. But <coughs> since I came, got settled down, I can hear a nice little stream trickling away there. Well, it's not really a stream, it's a trickle of water. It's really nice. Making this shot glass. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's warm. Oh, I have to change direction, doesn't it? It's like it knows you here. I have to turn my lights on, otherwise this Osmo action would be pitch black here. You wouldn't even see me. Might be a good thing. I was just talking to a guy before and we were on about. I work for a leisure company in South and Block, my own business, but most of my work comes through a leisure company. And every time stay somewhere oh as in on the luxury caravan site which they all are they want to put me up in these luxury lodges but when I'm there I just want to get up and get out and they're like are you mad they just give you a five star luxury lodge with spa jacuzzi or everything and you're Nipping out camping. Unbelievable. But <coughs> we both agree that, <coughs> excuse me, I think everybody else is missing out. Nice open fire, nice cigar, got some rum, got some nice food to cook off in a minute. Yeah. I not give this up for anything.
This is beautiful and nice and warm, this fire. I've got two bags of this, one for tonight, one for tomorrow night. I think once I've had this and my rums, oh, middle of nowhere, all you get is the police. Can you hear that? Can't get away from it in England, can you? Right, I'll cut the video off for a minute until they book it off. Lovely, lovely, I tell you. It's about an hour ago. Car pulled up. Don't know if you've heard of his channel, probably have. It's massive. The English woodsman has just turned up. What a nice guy. Brilliant. Really nice person. Nothing like you see on his videos actually. Mer really solid guy. I don't know him. Just met him. And it's been nice to meet him. Yeah, in fact, this site, the reason why I knew it was here was because of him. He did a video here before and he's doing a video now. I won't tell you what it was about in case he didn't bring it out for a few weeks or something. And it wouldn't be fair for me to say anything. So but yeah, if you haven't watched him, go and watch him. He's an inspiration. Really nice person. Right, so I'm going to let this die down, I think. And then we're going to go and cook some food as soon as I finish this baby. Beautiful sky. See, with everything going on at the moment in the world, this is what it's about. Get yourself out. Don't sit at home doing nothing. Tomorrow night's a big night. We've got a good cook off tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. It's one of the best meats I've cooked. Um, yeah, I'm going to cook it off tomorrow. Tomorrow night, all out, last night. Sorry, is that smoke in your face? I think it is. Sorry about that, but it keeps changing direction. That new tart, by the way, fantastic. It's so lightweight, and there's so many configurations you can make with it. Oh my god, it's 10 to 6, and I'm ready to get my scran on and get into bed. So I'm looking forward to a good day tomorrow, but <laughs> let's see what happens. Right, this cigar's nearly finished. Bring you back in the tent, cooking up our kebabs. Right guys, let's get this kebabs on the go. Oh, God, it's freezing. Uh, let's warm this up. As soon as it's warm enough, I'll bring you back. Uh, let's get the cup kit out. Cut, cook, kit out. God, I always have to tap in the same, but. Some of this lard in there. bad boys on.
Oh, these taste absolutely amazing. Tent's warming up nicely. We've got these foot warmers. So what I'm going to do is take these out of here and they can go in the bin and these are supposed to keep my feet nice and warm once they're activated. So I'm going to put them inside here so once I'm in bed this should be beautiful and warm I don't know how good they're going to be but let's give them a bash oh. it's warm To feel beautiful and warm already. Right, let's concentrate on the food. Mmm, it's nice and warm in here. This culminator been with me over 15 years. I've never looked after it. I should do really. I haven't. And it's still performing like a good one. Look at that flame. Oh, let's try these babies out. Ah. These are magnificent. Oh. Mm. These are gorgeous. Wow, guys. They were amazing. Really good. I've got my thermal socks on, so my down socks with some thermal, I don't know what that was, some heated soles on them. I'll let you know how they go in the morning. <sighs> I've had a long day. Gonna get my head down, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Good night.